Well, hello YouTube. Welcome to my second video of the Akai GX625, which has now been cleaned, serviced, and um, calibrated for RMG SM911 tape. Now, my last video, I showed you how I changed out the, the notoriously bad um, 2SC458 transistors and all of the electrolytic capacitors. Now there was nothing wrong with the machine when I bought it in December last year. It came from a, a, a smoker's home and it, it just really needed servicing. The, um, the record level in particular was very crackly. So um, I needed to take the preamp PCB board out to properly clean the potentiometer. Then I thought to myself, well, if I'm going to take the preamp board out, I may as well do the job properly and change out those those transistors which um, apparently are going, were going bad. Now once I'd done the job and changed the capacitors as well and put the machine back together, calibrated it and took it back down to my hi-fi room and, and, and had a listen to it, I was absolutely amazed by the quality of its own recordings and playback. Absolutely superb. So it just goes to show the transistors inside, although there was no actual fault on the machine, there was no noise on, on playback at all, um, there was obviously uh, it's obviously made a huge improvement to the machine so um so now after 35 years this machine is 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 good to go now it also came with the original remote control with the rather huge multi plug if you can see that there so i'm going to plug that in and, and and show you that as well now i'll just go through some of the machine's functions and then what i intend to do then is to play a track pump the line out directly into the sound card of my PC. Now that's the sound card I'm using. It's a, it comes from, come from Japan. Um, it's a company called, don't laugh, Dork Audio. It's a very good quality sound card. So I'm going to put the, pump the sound through that and record the sound so you can hear it in all its glory. So let's just power up. always difficult threading tape in front of the camera. Now this is, um, this is as I said before, RMG SM911, which I recorded some tracks onto the other evening. So here we go, tape machines threaded. Lovely mechanism on here. I did leave a huge gap. Now that's the output level, no crackles on that at all. All the illuminations on the controls are all working fine. Tape counter and the real time counter all working. This machine also gives you a pitch control for playback as well if um, something's been recorded slightly too fast or too slow on another machine. You can correct that there. That's completely disabled during during recording. But it's a it's a mighty fine machine. Fast forward. Brakes are perfect. Rewind. And play. Now if I zero the counter, set that move on a bit. Just take it forwards. Now if I press the auto play and then press rewind, that will rewind to the zero point and then automatically play. 
got the same function at the stop if you want it to, or it will carry on repeating that until you, until you, until you interrupt it. Okay, well, I'm going to leave you with um, another track playing with, on the machine. I'm going to pump the audio directly into my sound card. You can see me there. You don't really want to see me. I'm going to pump the audio directly into my sound card. And I'll show you some images of the machine. And I hope you enjoy it. And I will say now, thank you very much for watching. And I will be showing some more videos soon of, of my hi-fi equipment. I've got all sorts of weird and wonderful... Um, pieces of hi-fi to uh, which are both some are working some are waiting uh, service so I should be taking you through those as I do them so anyway folks thank you very much for watching enjoy the next track plug your headphones in turn up the volume and I will see you all again soon